Okay. Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to be showing you how to customize your status bar in DWM using a, a little program called SL Status. So without further ado, let's get straight into this tutorial. The first thing we're going to do is clone the Git repository for SL Status. All the commands will be left in the description. But you can either look in the description for these commands or you could pause the video as I'm entering them. So this command will be git clone http colon slash slash git dot cyclist dot org slash sl status. You're going to run that command. That's going to clone the git repository for sl status into a local directory on your machine. Then you're going to cd into that directory. You can do one of two things once you're in this directory. You can either run sudo make install, which will install the program as is, or you can customize and configure it by using a text editor and by typing the and the name of your text editor, your favorite text editor, followed by config.dev.h. This will throw you into the configuration file where you'll be greeted by this nice little table of functions, descriptions, and arguments. So, all these functions here are things you can add into the status bar. They will all output something, but You'll notice something down here. There's, you'll see function, format, and then argument. Format is basically, so I'll take into example with this date and time thing. So your, this whole thing would be structured function, which in this case is date time. The format percent %s will display, in this case, the text that the argument is telling it to display. So in this case, it will grab your time zone and the local time from some server on the internet using NTPD. And this date and time format is going to be based Basically, this argument is just the format of the date and time, whether you want month, day, year, day, month, year, or year, month, day. And as for the time, you can either have 24-hour clock or a 12-hour clock. I always choose month, day, year. Oops. And 12-hour clock. And I, right after the last argument in the string I always put a space between the last argument and the quotation marks just so that spaces it out on the status bar because otherwise if you don't space everything out what happens is everything looks like a jumbled mess of characters thus your status bar just looks terrible and you immediately want to change it so the first thing I always add is above date and time I always add the username function which is going to output the username onto the status bar so the the function obviously would be username the format again would be percent s the argument however would be no as you can see right here if you have any questions you can always concern you can always refer to this nice little table that's above the area you're editing now make sure at the end of every function you put a and a closing bracket a closing curly bracket and a comma not a semicolon because a semicolon in this case would dictate the end of, I think this is what they call a function tree, 
which is not what we want because we're going to be adding a couple more functions such as CPU percentage with the CPU underscore perk function. The format for this is going to be different from the last two. The f format for this is going to be inside of quotations you're going to do pipe CPU colon space percent s percent percent pipe space quotation marks and uh, again the argument for this will be null this will not be the argument used for every command I'm going to enter in every function I'm going to put in here just for this and RAM percentage well this username and RAM percentage have the null argument so now that that's been explained I will put my config my configuration for SL status in the description as a little uh, text blob down there so if you want to copy that into my config into your config file go ahead feel free to otherwise you could just enjoy me editing this file for the next minute and a half or what however long it takes me usually not that long oops unless I make it a stupid mistake like that also make sure when you're doing this you know you don't accidentally use a parenthesis or regular bracket you, you gotta know the difference between the two because again syntax is a huge thing here There you go. Okay. You'll you'll see right here that the network up upload and download speed the f the format for those will be similar to the CPU and RAM percentage. As you see, I kind of forgot about the Wi-Fi Wi-Fi ESSID function. That's gonna have the same format as the username and the date time function but a different argument for anything regarding your network it's going to be the either Wi-Fi perk Wi-Fi ESSID NetSpeed RX or NetSpeed T TX followed by either percent s or something similar to the CPU and RAM percentage format followed by your interface name in quotation marks this can either be WLAN 0, WLO I mean WLO 1 ENSP0 or whatever other interfaces are out there that's where you're gonna put it in inside of the function it's always going to be at the end so now that that's been explained I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up and again, if you want, if you want to copy this config file, everything will be in the description. Or if you want, you can just pause the video when I'm done. And copy it then. Otherwise, if you don't want my exact config file and you just want a couple of things that are in there, Feel free to copy it, I don't care. I don't really know who would care if you copied their exact config. It's not like it's any thing. It, it's not like I made this entire program by myself and you know, you just have someone copy paste and code or whatever. It's really kind of dumb for me not to want people to use my exact config 
or whatever. I don't even know what I'm saying now. So once you're done with that, you're going to save and qu quit out of your text editor. Then you're going to run sudo make install. Then if you don't already have dmenu installed, you're going to go ahead and install it. I'll have another video on my channel dedicated to dmenu since that's a simpler program to install. But this is already assuming you have it installed. You're going to open dmenu with whatever shortcut you have binded to it. And you're going to run sl status through dmenu. And you should see right here. Oh, wait. Hold on one second. Did I fuck up somewhere? I did. Okay. This. This I fucked up. Hold on. Let me just edit that. Oh, great. I had to. Oh, no big deal. One. One little mistake isn't going to kill the entire file. Make. Install. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just run htop here, find where it is, select the process, kill it, and then rerun it. Sometimes that's what you got to do, but now what the, is going on? Hold on, so, something obviously always has to go wrong when I'm recording. So please stand by. Please stand by while I fix this issue. <laughs> Okay, what the hell? Why is it still showing as... Wait. No, I made the right edits to the... Oh. Right. Hold on. H-top. I gotta go find SL status again. And I gotta relaunch it. For whatever reason, I never get things right on the first try, but here we are. Now, for the network monitor, if I were to, say, pop up my web browser, in this case, I'll be using Brave. You should be able to see these values change here. But that concludes the tutorial. And, uh, oh wait, I almost forgot. For those of you who want to to copy my config file I'll have it on screen right here for you and I just let me re-enter the directory I completely forgot to leave the video there for a second no big deal you can always just pause the video and take time to copy all this down otherwise I will see you guys in the next one till then